everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge. Welcome back to my channel, we are in the laundry room. You guys have requested that I do a review of my new washer and dryer. So I'm gonna do just that, but just a little disclaimer here. I only got the machines for less than a week and the ones that I had before were so crappy that anything I had purchased would have been a major improvement from what I had before. But I gotta tell you, so far it's a totally different way of washing and I am loving it. This is the LG Direct Drive High Efficiency Top Loader Machine and its companion dryer right there. So I'm going to start with the machine itself and I'm going to show you how it works, the buttons and all of that. We're going to listen to it. I'm going to show you how this uh, drum here works. We're going to do a full load. It's not going to be an hour and a half video. I'm going to cut obviously, but I wanted to uh, show you um, how it works and what to expect because some of you are on the market for new machines and you asked me to do a review and tell you what I thought of those so there goes so this is the LG direct drive with inverter okay so it's a totally different way of washing I'm gonna open this so you can see what I mean first of all for those of you who are familiar with American type machines you know that the majority of the machines up to maybe I don't know five eight years ago had an agitator right here in the bottom of it and it would go all the way up to the top right so when you have an agitator basically what it does it's like it's a propeller it goes um one way and then it goes another way and what it does is that it forces the clothes to basically go down and then they come back up and it kind of like rotates very gently the clothes around the drum that's how those um, agitators work however they figured that it took too much room and they do they really take too much room the whole thing would be up to here so you lose about a third of the amount of clothes you can put in so the new high efficiency machines, what they have is that they, whether they are, obviously if they are front loaders, they don't have the agitator, but if they are top loader like this one, they remove the agitator. And if you don't know a lot about machines and motors, the old type of machine used to have a belt. So you would have a gear and another gear and you would have a belt and basically that would do a loop and then the belt would go around and that's basically what would crank the machine and make it turn. This is basically a inverter and it's pretty much like a propeller. So this part here moves but this part here at the bottom, I don't know if you can see, I'm going to try to move it. Well, it's locked because it's not working. Um, it's not in them. So what's going on here is that you have the drum and like every other machine it will turn but the part that's here turns as well but it's on a direct drive it's not on a belt. So this thing here turns any which way you want at any speed you want it's actually pretty pretty cool but the best thing about those machines is that they also balance the load for you and that is magnificent i gotta tell you this is great stuff so with this type of machine you use way less water because when you're using the machines with the agitator the water would rise all the way up to here it was basically covering all of your clothes all right and then the agitator would drive the clothes down or up but with this type of machine they don't even cover the clothes all the way up and then you'll see that when i demonstrate um the machine for you because this little direct drive propeller here would kind of like rotate, rebalance, rotate, vibrate. It's a really, really neat engine. So I'm gonna show you the functions. So of course you have an on and off button. So we're gonna turn it on. Yes, it sings. Um, here are the different type of wash that you can get. So you just turn this little knob right here. So you'll have um, the normal heavy duty bedding that's if you do a heavy duty comforter for instance right um waterproof clothing so if you have sleekers or um you know some of your winter um jackets or if you're a runner and you have some of those waterproof um windbreakers you can put them in there and basically what they do is that they send a higher jet of water just to remove the dirt on the outside because that's pretty slick so of course the dirt will roll off but it wants to make sure that it gets the inside of the clothes as well. 
here's the um, pre-wash plus normal wash. So it's basically the normal wash, but it has a rinse at the beginning. So if you have clothes that you pre-treat, if you have the shout spray or anything like this, you would use this. Delicates, speed wash, that's if you're in a hurry, like for instance, Willie has karate in um, an hour and his uniform needs to be uh, washed, so I would do that. And then here is downloaded. If you have some download, you can download um, specific settings. For instance, uh, cashmere, things like that. You would download the um, setting from your phone and it would go to the machine. So I'm going to do just a normal wash right here. And you'll see that right there, it gives you the time. So a regular wash is an hour and two minutes. And it would basically go through these different settings. So each time it goes through a um, cycle, one of these would uh, blink, then it turns off and the next one blinks. So you always know which cycle you're in. So this one right here is the sensing and I'm gonna show you what it does when we start the machine. This is the wash, the rinse and the spin. Now you can also, choose the temperature that you want you just click on that button so I'm doing colors so I'm gonna do semi-warm okay mm -hmm. and then I do want a high spin because that way I can dry in less time and then the soil is going to be normal I could do heavy or light and right here is special care so you would have the soak, the stain care, the rinse and spin, the add garments and all of that. So I'm just going to do high spin. I'm going to change that to semi-warm and then normal spin cycle. It's difficult to do that um, with the camera on hand. Okay, this is if you want the machine to sing when it's done so you can hear it from upstairs. This is if you want an extra rinse, if you have fabric softener. And then they recommend that at least once a month you do a tub clean. That's very important because again, this doesn't have an agitator and they want to make sure that um, the inside of the machine stays clean. You always have fuzz. In my case, I have a lot of dog hair that always gets stuck um, in the wash and it would basically just rinse the machine so you don't have foul smell or any of that. Over here you have the super jet um, that comes with specific settings. So when um, you go for extra soil clothes, for instance, the jet would just splash all over the clothes. Here is the little cubby for detergent and softener. Now again, because this is a high efficiency, you have to use high efficiency detergent and you use much less than the regular detergent. So you just pour it in there and that's it. And over here, and I still didn't put that little sticker, is your bleach compartment, okay? So, I'm going to put the camera on the tripod and I'm going to show you how you start those machines because there's a specific way of distributing the clothes inside the machine itself. So we're going to do a regular load and these machines are a little bit different um, than the regular machines is that you have to distribute the clothes a specific way. So it takes a little bit longer to, here are my pajamas. Um, it takes a little bit longer just to prep the machine itself. You're supposed to put the clothes and whatever you have that you're washing, you're supposed to just go ahead and put it around like this, avoiding this circle right there in the middle. So you just basically put your clothes um, all around and you distribute it for the machine and at the beginning you'll see that there is a uh, sensing cycle and you'll see what it does it's actually pretty cool because what the sensing does it goes through your load without any water and it basically calculates the weight of the clothes and it makes a determination of how much water it's going to need so you do use way less water than regular machines. Okay, here we go. So I put this one here. I'm going to put that one over there. And this is just, again, I'm doing a semi-warm. And these are colored clothes. Ah, here's a sock. These really should be um, considered dark, but whatever. 
Okay, that's all I'm doing. So that's a load. You could put more, but I'm just I just want to show you what a typical load would look like. So I'm ready to put my detergent and this is, you see right here, it says it's for regular machine and high efficiency machines as well. Basically it's detergent that doesn't suds as well. So you just put it in there up to the fill line and that's just about it. I don't put any softener. I don't really need it to be honest. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this. How fascinating is this? You guys are watching me do a load of laundry. The start button. And you're gonna watch what this does. Okay, so the tub is already going back and forth. You see the um, propeller at the bottom turning independently. That's what I was trying to show you earlier. And what this does right now is that it's sensing the weight of the clothes and making sure that it's distributed evenly. And what it's gonna do is that it's going to spin. And here we go. So it's doing a first spin. And the little squeak you hear is the rubber um, component that holds the uh, drum. All right, and it's gonna, um, now that the clothes is nicely dispersed, it's going to start washing and pouring the water. So this cycle takes a little bit of time. I'd say it takes about two minutes altogether to do the sensing. And here's the water, and you'll notice that the soap is already in it. And what it does is that it turns the machine. See, the drum is turning while the water is being poured. So it's to allow for the clothes to really get wet. That's something that you don't see with the agitator machines. They just basically pour the water on one end of the machine and nothing moves. But this really distributes the water to make sure that everybody gets an equal amount of wetness. You see what the uh, propeller is doing right now is that it's slightly moving the clothes and it's basically sensing whether or not it needs more water and obviously it did. So what it does is that it just keeps turning this way to make sure that all of the clothes that are on the top get an equal amount of water. And then the whole cycle basically for the wash cycle is pretty interesting because it goes through a series of what you're saying right now, which is not washing. This is just dispersing the clothes to make sure that they are um, at equal weight throughout. And then here we go. This is the washing cycle. So we'll do this and then it will move the clothes around. It may spin it. Whatever it does, it's all to make sure that all the clothes are equally distributed around the machine itself. And this is a pretty good spin. This is nothing like you see with the agitators, I can tell you that. Because this is washing, like for real now. So this is the part that I was telling you about, what basically the machine, the water still in there is kind of resensing, adding a little bit of water, and it will go through a spin. And again, it's all it's doing is redistributing the clothes again against the walls of the drum so that everybody gets equal amount of water and then you don't have one side of the drum that weighs more than the other. We're at 15 minutes into the wash and it's going to start washing again. So basically what happens here is that the machine just goes through this cycle of washing agitation from the bottom and you'll see that sometimes it really agitates the clothes and then it just resenses it, it puts it back and distributes it back properly around the drum, that's what it's doing right now. Adds a little bit of water and then starts the spinning again and in the middle of the wash it would just let the clothes sit in the water for about two minutes and then restart the whole thing again and no water is being drained at that point. It just basically goes through the same cycle of agitating and spinning and then stopping, resensing, redistributing the clothes around the drum, re-agitating and spinning, sensing, redistributing the clothes, agitating and spinning and so on and so forth. Okay, we're draining. 
So this is the first spin before rinsing cycle. And that's not a lot of spin. Just wait until you see the spinning for the actual spinning cycle at the end. Like it's just like a blur. It's amazing how fast that machine spins. But right now, what it's doing, don't know if you can see. You see that? Okay. Right now what it's doing is that it's spinning to get rid of all of the water that's soapy and dirty that's in the machine. And it's just basically um, getting it out of the clothes. Yeah, it's... Uh, doing a serious spin here. It's getting out of the clothes and getting it ready for the rinse cycle. And we only have nine minutes left. And you see we're already blinking on the rinse. And I still have water coming out. Okay, so here's this uh, rinsing cycle. You get this jet here that just, um, pretty much throws water on all the clothes to make sure that everybody gets enough water to get rinsed. That's part of the rinsing cycle. There's only six minutes left at this point. Um, but I have to say, this is the part that's loud about this machine. That would be the only minus. Um, if you are going to have your machine on the same floor where you have your bedroom, you definitely want to have it in a closet with a door that closes. Uh, rather than having them in the open. This cycle is, um, the rinsing cycle with the spinning is a little bit loud. So I'm glad the machines are downstairs in the basement. So I'm not really, so I'm not really hearing it. Um, but yeah, it is a little bit louder than the regular machine that I'm used to. But you know what? You gotta take some and leave some, right? Um, so we're just gonna go through the um, rinsing cycle and then it's the same deal than everybody else okay it just spins it at a very very high speed and the clothes come out just damp so if I wanted to put them in the um, dryer at that point yet yeah, you hear it it's a little loud right so if I wanted to put it in the dryer at that point it takes no time to dry the clothes because it's really spin very very well um, if I was to put them outside in the sun, they probably within 20 minutes be completely dry. In the dryer, 30 minutes, 40 minutes at medium heat and they are done. So you're saving money uh, on electricity or gas for your dryer because the clothes don't have to be in the dryer as long as the other ones. Um, as long as in the other machines and then you also save on water so it is to me worth the investment now I bought those they were on sale um, during was it Memorial Day Memorial Day sale so if you're going to invest in this type of machine I would suggest that you do that during the holidays if you're here in the US wait for the holiday deal so Labor Day Thanksgiving Memorial Day um, what else they have? They have uh, July 4th, um, and I think that's it. These are the major holidays where you can get appliance discount. That's how we got our kitchen appliances. We got them at pretty much 40% off because they were during Black Friday. That's when we bought them. So these we got at Memorial Day. And <clears throat> I also got um, the 10-year warranty bumper to bumper on both machines. So if anything breaks, whether it's motor, part, replacement, anything that needs to be fixed or repaired, if it doesn't get repaired, I get a machine completely brand new instead of this one. I don't have to pay a dime. So I bought the 10 year bumper to bumper warranty for this and 10 year bumper to bumper warranty for the dryer. So that's peace of mind. If anything happens, just like my dishwasher upstairs, if anything happens, it just come in, take it out, put a new one, don't pay a dime. All right. So I'm just going to wait for the cycle to be done. I have three minutes left and I'm going to show you the dryer real quick. So yeah, the spinning cycle is a complete blur. I mean, look at the spin on this machine. It's unbelievable. I've never seen anything like this. And here comes the best part is when it's done, it sings. And some of you recognized the uh, little chime when I was doing my basement video because you have the same machine or you have an LG machine and uh, you are familiar with it. But for those of you who are not, I think this is the coolest thing. I put it on really loud and that allows me to hear it from upstairs. So here we go.
is this cool or what? I think this is really high tech. Um, it's the silliest thing, but you know what? It makes me happy. And the machine washes wonderfully. So let's look at the clothes. Look at the spinning. It went through, it's all around. Um, this is, yeah, this is barely damp. It's unbelievable how well this dries. So let's put it in the dryer. That way I can show you its companion, the dryer. It's the same thing. You have a start button right here. A little song at the beginning. And you're going to pick um, whichever function you want. So you have normal heavy duty that would be if you have a comforter well no that's bedding heavy duty would be if you have um let's say like some of those rubberized mats you know the bathroom mats okay here's the bedding this is for delicates here is the downloaded one i probably will never use that air dry if you have um something that cannot be heated like for instance it's not only delicate but it also has more hair cashmere any kind of wool speed dry that's for when willie forgets his uh, karate uniform and only got an hour to get everything done and then of course we all know about the perm press so here are the settings on this side you can choose dry level with the temperature or you can use dry time with temperature but you can't do dry level with dry time together i don't know if that makes sense right so it's either these two here or these two here but you oh i just pushed the button but you can do those two combined right medium dry time 40 minutes right and i'm going to keep the drum light so you can see what the clothes look like inside the drum so what i really like about this is that you can open it either this way right or very easily if you see that you can remove this and this here and you can switch it so that the machine door so that the door opens the other way so you can have the door open this way or the door opens this way or you can have the door open this way so right here at the bottom of the door is the filter so i'm just going to open it so you can see the filter is clean for the first time in a very long time i'm appreciating clean clothes clean clothes that smell clean and <laughs> i don't know if you go through this but if you have an old machine um you know sometimes the clothes get clean and then you smell them but it just doesn't smell clean it doesn't smell nasty but it's not but it's not smelling clean okay this machine, and I'm, I'm sure all of the new high efficiency machines will give you the same result. Okay, so I'm not promoting this one per se. I just want to show you um, the process of washing using those two machines, right? But when I take the clothes out of the uh, drum and I put them in the dryer, I really do smell the detergent. And that's all I'm smelling. Crisp, clean, neutral clothes plus detergent. My old machine, it was just kind of like the old musty smell of dirty clothes plus detergent masking the smell i don't know if that makes sense right so i'm very happy with the level of cleanliness the only thing with that type of machine is that when you're done using it you leave this open okay leave the lid open because you need to vent it and you don't want to have any kind of uh, mildew smell or anything so my clothes uh, my clothes are in there and i'm just i've already set up my cycle so i have 40 minutes and i'm just going to go ahead and click the start button right here i'm going to turn the lights on so you can see okay and we're not going to spend an hour watching the clothes okay and that's basically what it does like every other dryer it's just going to spin it i have a gas dryer this is it this is the machines i'm not going to show you the dry clothes we'll know what it looks like um LG inverter direct drive for the machine and then the sensor dry LG dryer I'm very happy with them if you're on the market I recommend them um, the only negative really the only negative I have on either is the noise level it's a little bit louder than um, a regular machine so if you can put one of those noise pad underneath it if you have a closet or it's in a separate room great 
But if it's right outside of your kitchen, and your kitchen is also your eating area, um, and you do your wash during the day, you will hear it. I personally, I don't mind too much, but I just need to let you know that you will hear it. Okay, so for some people, um, I've read some reviews where some people uh, decided that they were not keeping those particular machines because they thought that they were just too loud. And it was mostly due to the location of the machines in respect to their common areas. Like if it's like right off, you know, I don't know, your den or something like that. It could be loud, okay? Me, I don't care, it's in the basement, um, so it's not a problem. They wash very well, they save money on water, they save money on electricity, and they save money on gas. And you can put a price tag on that. Again, I got them on sale, so if you're in the US, I recommend that you wait for the next big sale for uh, appliances, that's gonna be the July 4th uh, sale. And then after that, it's Labor Day. Okay, so if you are on the market, try to catch them during that time. And by all means, get the warranty. So that was Sophia. Um, I hope you enjoyed the little review. I don't know if I did a good job or not. I just wanted to share with you the experience that I've had with those machines. Um, it really feels like luxury to me compared to what I had before. And again, this is the first time we actually buy machines. When we were in Brooklyn, we were going to the laundry. <laughs> when we moved to Ohio, uh, we were given a washer and dryer. And then when we moved here, there was already a dryer and a washer. So our dryer and washer from Ohio went into the garage. So we never really had to buy um, a dryer and a washer before. So it was a big purchase for us, but I have absolutely zero, zero regrets, okay? I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you like this review. Let me know if you're interested in buying it. If you have this machine already, if you have a different model, I just want to uh, have a conversation about that kind of stuff because, I don't know, I'm a geek like that. Okay? I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye!